Hello people, Adam, Adam here from multilingualadam.com and today we're gonna speak about how bilinguals practice faith. Uh, I'll tell you the truth, I was born in Kazakhstan, a Muslim country, but I was born a Jew to a Jewish family, not traditional but secular Jewish family. And uh, basically we moved to Israel in 2000s and uh, in Israel there are three three main religions practiced to this day. Uh, basically it's Christianity, Judaism and Islam. And uh, I never got attracted to any of those, maybe a little bit to Christianity. And uh, I chose, I found Buddhism to be the most practical religion there is. At least I speak as of myself. It uh, allowed me to uh, connect to the world in a better way, to understand myself in a better way, and to operate in this world uh, in a better way. Uh, so, I so I believe Buddhism is the way to go. Uh, not all Buddhists are saints. Uh, there is there is a place for fanatics in this world, unfortunately. And uh, I'm claiming that fanatism in anything is uh, just a madness, a type of madness, type of disease, mental disease. So yeah, my point is I'm trilingual. I speak fluent Russian, my mother tongue, fluent Hebrew and fluent English and a bit of German. I'm studying German extensively in the past eight years, well extensively. I studied German for eight years, but I study exten studied extensively in a few past months, uh, during the few past months, yeah. So basically, I met plenty of multilinguals and bilinguals and people they have different views on religion, but uh, here in Israel, uh, the dominant religion is Judaism, Judaism, because it's a Jewish country. But there are other Buddhists here. Uh, Jewish Israeli Buddhists who practice Buddhism and uh, get into groups and talk to each other and uh, interact with each other and it's quite interesting to see how everybody operates in this world in a different manner in a different way uh, unique to them and uh, what I can say is first fanaticism is is should be out of your out of your box, out of your conceptual perception, because you shouldn't strive there. Uh, there is no perfection at all in anything. The only thing that is perfect is the state of don't know. And uh, it's not not knowing, but it's rather the state itself called don't know. And it means that uh, there is an intuitive understanding of what is going on. And uh, the second thing I want to talk about is that accept acceptance of other people, you know, tolerance. Some other people find Judaism more uh, relatable to them, some other Islam more relatable to them, some other Christianity. But we all live in, on this earth together, like we, it's, we share this home, it's, it's one, big, but one big home that we share. And uh, we should get along with each other, even even though we have different views. It shouldn't get too worse. Uh, here in Israel, uh, the 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 situation is very very tense between the religious people and religious uh, uh, leaders because they get to fanatism, they get to fanatism, and they kill and uh, pillage and uh, do all kind of nasty stuff that is terrorism and I find it uh, I find it I find it to be wrong because you know as a Buddhist I strive to be in a peace with everything because I know that we are all here we are the same one the, the part we are small parts of a greater thing of the same one thing and uh, we should strive to be and uh, to, to acknowledge that that we are part of a greater one and uh, if you kill me or if I kill you I just kill a part of myself basically or you kill a part of yourself if you kill me and uh, this is it yeah 
in Buddhism too, there is a saying kill all your masters kill kill all, all your dear ones but it's it's not an uh, actionable saying because uh, a normal stays at a normal stage of development Buddhist he wouldn't go and slaughter all his dear ones he'll just slaughter he'll just erase them uh, from attachments in his mind it's basically erasing attachments because you know being attached to something like life death or money or I don't know sex uh, it, it causes a lot of suffering it's your little eye that talks little from a, an ego perspective a small eye that talks a greater eye will do all of those things and uh, will do them for the greater good for a greater for good of everyone and they're basically detaching basically detaching from sex money dear ones and being completely free for yourself and others that is what truly enlightened person would do and he wouldn't claim he's enlightened even he would just do that and show it in his actions and the rest will understand that there is some greater meaning to that and uh, this is it thank you for watching i hope the rest of the bilinguals or multilinguals find this video useful and uh, there, there would be some light shed upon two main aspects of fanatism and tolerance. Thank you for watching. Bye.